Hello everybody. Today we're going to talk about the WX Update UI event. The Update UI event is generated at idle time, and the purpose of the event is to give your application a chance to update the graphical user interface. This includes things like enabling and disabling widgets, checking and unchecking checkboxes, that sort of thing. Okay, let's open up our application. And what we're going to do today is we're going to write some code to disable the OK button until the user fills out the form. And once the form's filled out, we'll re-enable the OK button. Okay, so let's take a look at the documentation for the WX Update UI event. We just need the event handler. And we'll add that to our main window.h file. And we'll change the name to on update OK button. And we'll need to add the event macro to the event table. The event macro takes an ID and a function. The ID will be the same ID we use to create the OK button. Here's the OK button, and the ID is going to be WXID OK. And the function is going to be our event handler. For now, we'll just have the event handler disable the OK button. And we can do that with the event object by passing false to the enable method. OK, so let's run that. And now you can see that the OK button is disabled. Now we can write some code that will enable the OK button when both of our first name box and last name box have some text in it. But to do that, we'll need pointers to the first name box and the last name box. Here's the first name box, and we'll just copy this, and we'll get rid of that. And we're just going to put this pointer in the main window.h file. And we'll do the same with last name box.
Now we just need to check our text controls to see if they have text in them. The getValue method returns a string that's set equal to whatever the text is in our text control. Right now we just want to know if the string is empty. And we'll do the same thing for the last name box. If the first name box and the last name box have text in them, we'll go ahead and enable the OK button. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. The OK button is disabled. And if we enter text into the first name box, nothing happens. And if we enter text into the last name box, the OK button is enabled. And if we remove the text, the button goes back to being disabled. Okay, now we want to show you how to manipulate the update event. One thing we can do is set the mode to WX Update UI Process Specified. And what that will do is it will tell WX widgets not to generate a WX Update UI event unless we tell it to. And now if we run that, you'll see the OK button is no longer disabled. That's because our window isn't receiving update events. We can use the update window UI method to force WX widgets to generate an update event, even though we've turned it off. And here you can see the OK button is disabled. And if we enter text into both of the text fields, you'll notice that the OK button stays disabled. That's because the update window UI method only generates a single event. If we want a window to receive the update event like it normally would, we can set the extra style WX, WS, EX, Process UI Updates. the OK button is disabled. And when we enter the text, the OK button becomes enabled again.
And finally, I want to show you the set update interval method. So we're going to go back to app.cpp. And the set update interval method allows you to set a delay in milliseconds for the WX update UI event. So now there'll be at least a 100 millisecond delay between each update event. All right, everybody, that's it for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.